What is up guys, it is Strider coming at you with some more Pokemon content. Um, so I want to start a weekly series where we talk about the transactions made um, in my league um, and discuss why I think they're good or bad or whatever. Um, and so this, this first one's actually kind of going to be the week one and week two combined. Um, but after this, uh, we should have a weekly one. Um, so like we should, this one I'll call week one slash two, and then the next one will be week three, um, et cetera, et cetera. So anyways, just getting into it. Um, three different teams made transactions over the last two weeks. Um, we'll talk about, uh, first we're just kind of go in team draft order. Um, and so the very first one I want to talk about is Oklahoma City Thunderous made a couple of transactions. Um, they dropped Excadrill for Landorus T. Um, I don't love this transaction, uh, mainly because he's getting rid of maybe the best rapid spinner in the entire game um, for a, a good Pokemon. Lindor's T is very good. Um, it can do a lot of things. It it can uh, it can be defensive or offensive. It can be uh, it can be your stealth rock setter. You can throw a scarf on it. It can do different things. Um, but I just <sighs> Excadrill does all those same things. Um, plus, it can. Uh, it can actually rapid spin, which is, if you look at his team now, um, his team actually sorely lacks good rapid spinners. Uh, he has Salamence, but Salamence really doesn't want to be defogging. Um, he has, um, and, and he has a Sand Slash, but this is tier 5 pick, meaning it's probably, it's, it's just not the strongest Mon, and it would be unfortunate if he had to bring it many weeks. Um, and his team really, really, really needs... Um, a way to get rid of rocks, um, especially because of things like Salamence. Um, obviously, Charizard Y hates rocks. Um, Big T doesn't like rocks. Who wasn't on his team actually until recently? Um, Entei. Um, so just a lot of mons that really don't appreciate those hazards. Um, so again, I don't really love the pick. He, he told me he just doesn't like x Reels typing, basically, and feels like it's weak to too many things. Um, that's true, but, I mean, it's still Tier 1 for a reason. I, I really think he could have worked around it. Um, the second pick is actually, unfortunately, another pick. Um, I don't, I don't, I, I kind of know what his, his position, or his, uh, I know his line of thinking here, um, because to him, Tarnantar and Excadrill were like a package, um, that was like his sand package, and since he was getting rid of Excadrill, he felt the need to get rid of Tyranitar, and so he picked up Victini, um, I guess that's fine. Uh, I, 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 Victini is a good Pokemon, but again, the thing I don't like about um, this transaction in particular um, is it just, he, he already has Inte, and Inte and Victini, I mean, they're not the same Pokemon, but uh, they're both offensive fire types. Like, he just dropped an offensive fire type for another offensive fire type. In so many matches, they're going to be uh, doing such similar things. The, the redundancy, I, I just would rather have... I don't know, something else. Uh, it would be great, actually, there if you would have picked up a really truck spinner. Like, I could see, like, Starmie being good on this team, actually. It would take fire-type attacks. I mean, it would take water-type attacks for all of his fire-types. <laughs> um, and it would also be able to get rid of rocks, uh, which which I would really like. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just... Um, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't love the picks, but, I, again, he's going for a Sun team, so, again, I could see... Uh, his his line of thinking there, and that he wants more fire types to abuse that sun, um, but I don't know. I feel like he has plenty of sun abusers um, already. I mean, he's got Victory Bell and um, Venusaur, um, as well as he already has Entei to be an offensive fire type to abuse the sun. Um, but again, I don't know. I mean, maybe it'll work out for him. He, hmm, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. And I mean, it's his team. He can do what he wants. Um, and I mean, I do like that. Um, the Landorus T, even though it's weak to water, um, being on a Sun team, that that weakness is a little bit mitigated. Um, the So there were two other teams that made transactions. Uh, one of them was, and this was actually week one transactions, uh, was um, Zack Attack here made uh, three different transactions. He drops Togetic, to, toge, uh, he dropped Togetic to pick up Torterra, uh, which basically was a tier 40 or tier 5, so that wasn't a great pick, especially because he already has three, um, or here, that, that puts him actually at three grass types, which, I mean, I, I, again, I mean, Amoongus and, and Torterra and Celebi, I mean, they, they all do, do slightly different things, but I just, I don't know, I don't really need to know if he needed Torterra, I don't know if that was the highest, uh, best thing for his team. Um, I do like his other picks, uh, actually, um, 
He drops Golem for Chansey. So he, and finally, this is him getting up to the a good point total here. Um, Chansey is a little bit abusable in the league format. Um, it can be used as setup bait. Um, it can also, um, I mean, you just bring like more than one Pokemon with knockoff, uh, and you feel pretty safe. Excuse me. Against the Chansey, um, obviously, um, that Eviolite is huge to make sure you keep on Chansey. So if you're able to knock it off, um, it has a lot of damage. But still, Chansey's still much stronger than Golem. It still provides Stealth Rock support, um, which Golem did. And uh, I mean, he does have a couple Mons um, that uh, that can set up Stealth Rocks. I think he has like, shoot, he has Chansey, Skarmory. I think I know Torterra can, I know Registeel can, Celebi might be able to do it. So he has a lot of different options for Stealth Rocks, um, which I really do like about his team. Um, also, just the fact that he picked up Chansey gives him maybe the most annoying wall core uh, in the entire game. Skarmory and Chansey is incredibly difficult to break through, um, especially uh, if, if your opponent does not have someone with knockoff or you already dealt with the opponent with knockoff. Oh. Lastly, um, I, I like the pick of... Um, Dropping Typhlosion for Registeel, mainly because again he already had Flareon. Um, Typhlosion's probably better than Flareon, um, but um, the fact that he already had, I, I, I like that he dropped. And but he needed, he didn't want Typhlosion as a tier. He didn't want the two offensive fire types, um, and he he just felt Registeel was a better fit for his team. Um, yeah, I mean I think it's a fine pick. Um, this team is very defensive. It's not, it's not fast. It's not. Uh, super hard hitting, uh, but it can be very difficult to break through his walls, especially, uh, especially again if you're, yeah, if you, if you're unable to bring knockoff for whatever reason um, to deal with the Chansey, or maybe you lack offensive fire types to deal with something like Skarmory or something like that. Um, so I do like his picks overall. Um, again, I don't know exactly why he decided to drop Togetic for Torterra. I don't know what his thinking was there, like in particular, like exactly what he was going for. Um, but I mean, I don't know if it really hurts his team that much. Um, though having an answer, I mean, as, especially now that he has so many answers to dragon types um, in the Registeel and the Skarmory, I mean, dragons aren't going to do a whole lot uh, to him. Um, lastly, the last transaction that occurred this week was uh, actually the opponent, my opponent, uh, decided to, well, the opponent I'm about to play in week two, decided to drop Mega Tyranitar. Uh, for Mega Altaria. Um, I did actually have my team kind of all prepped for this match, uh, and then when he did that, uh, I kind of had to change everything. Um, I don't know. I think Mega Altaria is very scary. Um, I think that uh, Mega Altaria is probably just stronger than Mega Tyranitar, and, um, and I don't know. I mean, we'll see what the... Uh, what, what he's able to do with it, and I don't know what he plans to do, what, what he plans to bring on it. Um, and, but I mean, I, and I do think it fits his team better. Um, he, he had a lot of, uh, he had a lot of ground weakness actually still he has four. Uh, he had five, which would put almost half his team to, um, blue weak to ground. Um, I like that he has a check to dragons now, um, before, uh, I mean, I, I just like that he has a fairy. I mean, um, having a fairy on your team is really nice. It, it allows you just like a hard check to dragons, um, which I really do like, uh, I really do like having, um, yeah, that that's all the transactions, guys. Um, I, oh, the other thing I like about Mega Altaria is that um, it's incredibly flexible. Uh, like preparing for it this week was kind of a nightmare. He has so many different viable sets he can do. He can be special, especially offensive, uh, physically offensive. He can be defensive. He can be like this cleric. He has like heal bell roost, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's kind of a nightmare to prepare for. He's very flexible, um, which obviously is not good for me. Um, I guess, and plus, he sits at this weird speed tier, actually, for my team. Because um, it, it's hard for me to really abuse his speed, because I have two mods that actually share speed with him um, that are kind of important in fighting him. But um, again, um, so just kind of a, a good, I mean, it's a good pet, uh, pick up, especially against me, I think. Um, and again, with that ground weakness, I like him uh, picking up the uh, the Mega Altaria there to kind of help that. Um, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, we're going to do this every week. Um, if you guys can think of any improvements or anything you want to see uh, in this video series, please let me know. Um, I do plan on doing also. I'm going to see if anyone in my league wants to do it. Um, do like a power rankings video. 
Um, and then, of course, also uh, by the, oh, I do actually. There's another lesson I want to do for the Pokemon Draft League. Uh, lesson number, I think it'll be number five. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's number five or six. Um, and yeah, I want to get that up this week. Also, this week I want to get up obviously my prep video uh, and just my battle. Um, and then also the other two battles in the league. So it's going to be a busy week for me. Hopefully I can find time to uh, make all these videos um, for you guys. Um, uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Um, I do hope you enjoyed, um, and I'll see you next time. Oops. It's funny. I always end up like with my cursor on this screen, and then I go over to do this, and then I, I can't go down, and I'm like, I don't understand why. All right. See you guys.